What is going on everybody and welcome to another Minecraft command block tutorial video. Today we're going to be looking at a world edit and I'll show you some of the commands. I'll have them all in the description for you guys to just kind of create this yourself. Uh, this one's a little bit more advanced because I have a lot more just going on here. But uh, whenever you press the on button, make sure you're not within the first like five slots. Just kind of get in the last one. Just turn it uh, uh, on. Uh, it will activate and give you the items that you need to use the world edit. Uh, if you do not want to use world edit anymore, just turn it off and uh, you can go on about doing whatever you want and you can turn it right back on. So I got all the items I was playing around with it, but I'm going to get away from here because it's like the third time I try to record this and I destroyed the machine every time. <laughs> so make sure you're not holding none of the items. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to show you the first one, which is stone. If you throw stone on the ground, just throw it down, and you could actually look anywhere that you want to actually like create something. So I'm just going to look around, uh, and it will actually do whatever we want. Now, you could actually destroy this uh, and stop actually doing this command thing. If you just throw a piece of paper on the ground, it will stop. So there you go. Uh, it's the same with grass. So you could do grass like so, and then have it come up, and you could just fly around and just create really awesome, cool things like this, and then just throw the paper on the ground when you're, when you're done. Uh, so I built that in just a couple seconds, and that is pretty awesome. So uh, there's another command, which be careful when you're touching these, but uh, whenever you go to your diamond pickaxe, uh, you could actually destroy everything around you. You can actually come up uh, like so, and it will start destroying stuff all around you. You could go from behind. So uh, it just lets you destroy everything that you want around you, so you, if you needed to replace something, you could start back over. Uh, now the fishing rod is a little bit different. This actually takes the terrain around you, and brings it up so as you guys can see right there so if I wanted to I could just start bringing stuff up I can move different parts of the earth from down there uh oh I'm too far from the uh, actual uh, machine over here there we go so uh, yeah it's just building up all of the trees I can build the trees up and I could just move around and you guys can see the armor stand is actually doing that so it clones up uh, all of these so if I go down I could actually clone up some of this stuff so I can move the terraform and uh, just kind of like if I move off uh, the armor stand will still follow you but it will no longer uh, actually clone everything up in the sky so this is just a way to like terraform so if I wanted to I could come way down here and, and just get all this and just clone it all up so it's pretty cool I really like the way that you could do like some of this stuff so you could go down like something like this you could actually throw this down and do it at the same time so if you wanted to you can actually make some pretty really cool stuff uh, but that is pretty much it I mean that is pretty much it for the tutorial guys I'll show you how to create it over here so let me come over here and uh, yeah so let's go check it out so um, that's I kind of like did all that in just a couple seconds so yeah let's go check it out and here are the commands uh, soon I will have it to where you could start importing these. I'm actually getting a lot of these machines ready. So I'm going to turn off this machine. Like I said, if you turn it off, it will get rid of all the items and, uh, the armor stand and everything. I think it gets rid of the armor. Yeah, it gets rid of the armor stand. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and check it out. I was actually playing around with some of the commands. So, uh, this is a little bit difficult. So let's get into this tight little fit. So, uh, the on off switch, uh, let me go ahead and select this one right here. Just, okay. So, uh, the on switch is, uh, filling right here. Uh, in this small little box, it will basically put redstone right here, uh, all the way just right in front of these. Uh, these two commands are just setting a block air below it so that it doesn't activate these uh, chain commands all the time. Uh, so it will put that right there, and then boom. So, uh, uh, yeah. And then the off switch is a fill, same thing, but it's a little bit different, and it will replace the redstone block. Uh, this one right here is kill the armor stand within five blocks because it will summon an armor stand. This one will uh, right here. And let's move kind of over here to this one. Uh, this one is going to clear the player so it gets rid of all the items. Uh, then whenever all this activates, let me set this back down. Uh, the first one is going to summon an armor stand. This one is going to execute at a player, TPIE, grass block. Uh, 10 blocks in front of the player and then it'll go into a uh, chain command which will basically fill uh, grass so if you want to change this fill command you can actually change it to where it's bigger fill uh, so you can actually go around and do stuff like that this one uh, is stone and it's the same thing and it does the fill clock as well uh, so you can actually go around and do all that so that's what those are you just drop it uh, and then the piece of paper which is here this one right here is basically when you throw it down it kills the item so 
You don't have to worry about that. And then these are enchanting at the player with lure, and then it'll go into the comparator, and it will actually be masked move, so it actually moves up a 4x4 within 15 blocks above an armor stand. Um, and this one right here is actually executing at the player, then teleporting in the armor stand 30 blocks below, so you can actually terraform the ground up into the air, so if you want to move some stuff around uh, like that, it's actually down there. So actually, let me see. If I come and uh, go right here, I think somewhere around like 30 blocks down here, it would actually be like a hole. So let's go see if I can actually find it. It's going to be far down here. There it is. So right here. So you can see that it actually cloned all of this back up here, uh, right above right above us to this. Uh, and that's what that's doing. So uh, then over here, this one is going to be... Uh, enchanting efficiency which is a pickaxe and then uh, doing the fill basically it will get rid of anything that's within a five by five by five of you uh, so you can actually start destroying some of the terraforming uh, then we got these commands right here so this one is going to activate and it's going to give you a diamond pickaxe so it's going to give you a fishing rod and this was going to give you a piece of paper and this one is going to give you a grass 64 and a stone 64 and that is that is all the commands right there so yeah you can actually kind of create this it's a small box so let's go ahead and let's count it real quick because I normally put it in the description so it's a one two three four five one two three four five six and by one two three four five six seven so there you go and that's how you guys could create it if you want to recreate this into your own worlds. Uh, or you could wait until I can uh, do a tutorial on showing you how to import. But that is pretty much it for the video, guys. Let me know if you really liked it and stuff. Uh, and if you wanted a world edit and things. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!